Lying Hour. Like Neil said, we're going to be here every Thursday in March and April, and we're very excited to bring our show to you. If you've never seen us before, it's kind of interesting. What you're about to see are uh, actors. These actors have memorized scripts like they would for any other play, a play that you might see at the alley, or at Stages Theater, or at a place where they produce forms of archaic culture. Uh, <laughs> they have memorized these scenes, and they have pre uh, prepared them like they would for any other type of play they would do. However, they're going to be joined on stage by improvisers who don't know anything about the play that they're doing, anything about the script or the character they're playing, much like you don't know anything about the play that you're about to see because the death of American theater is all of our faults. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that. Lights <laughs> <laughs> come back up. Magical lying out. Yeah. No. Brought me here two or three times. It's beautiful, isn't it? You brought me here two or three times, it's fine, you know? I'm not the only person you had to bring up here. Yes, you are. You are the only person. <laughs> I'm glad it's special. I don't bring any other friends. Just you. <laughs> don't forget that. I'm grateful that our uh, relationship is so important to you. Yeah, did you bring your canteen? <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't hurt, you know, it's a, it's a compliment, bud. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy it. Well, now that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it just... It does. My pain is real, dickweed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I know the cancer has progressed, but I just thought that, you know, maybe the forest would ease your mind. Okay, this is not fun. And I don't want to spend the rest of the evening with you if you're going to act like that. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do right by you. You're my big brother. Okay. You're my only friend. Let's open the box, huh? Fine! <laughs> You know, I'm glad for you and Leslie Pinkett, all right? You know, we're, we're not in that relationship anymore, you know? Okay, good, because I was getting real worried someone was going to happen up here. <laughs> not just, I'm happy for you, all right? It's something called conversion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm genuinely happy for you. She's, uh, she's amazing, and I, I mean, I could probably never be the man that you would be, Kev, but... Well, I do, I do want to be your friend, all right? And, and, and I've enjoyed the time we've had together, and... I think you're a great guy. I like you better with the facial hair, but, you know, I mean, really? You can see whoever you want, you know, you can bring whoever you want up here, like, really. I was gonna bring her, but... Well, great. I mean, if you guys were full-on dating, that's great. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> we are. Leslie Pinkins, who works at the Kroger. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's an amazing job. <laughs> what is? Leslie, Leslie Pinkins is a dairy cat. You know, if it was ever appropriate for anyone to work at the Kroger in the dairy section, it'd be Leslie Penelope Pankis. Yeah, LPP. <laughs> Here's your shirt. <laughs> you like it? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, do you have any hobbies or anything? <laughs> yeah, I have uh, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, kayak sometimes. <laughs> I'm trying to think of getting a double kayak for me and Pinkus. <laughs> Put LPP in the side. <laughs> and my initials next to it. Yeah, I'm sorry you cried, you know. <laughs> like, like, we broke up, you know? Like. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody break up. It's weird. <laughs> and I was just crying because of the. I mean, I knew that maybe she would come to me because I have been sitting in aisle 16 for like six months. <laughs> Takes the... Oh, what is it called? What's that Ben Rice or Orange? Uncle Ben's? <laughs> I don't know why I blanked on that. They knew they hate Walmart. Huh? It's very popular to hate Walmart. Oh, fuck that place. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why social media exists. You know, I think it's like this... This place for us to scream into this black abyss, you know, so people will approve of us. Yeah. I think we just want to be heard. I troll that page every day. <laughs> like, oh, by the way, does Pinkus work there? No, because you're not worth it! <laughs> well, what about Leslie? She doesn't want to work there. She's too good for it. <laughs> you should. What? No. I'm not going to work in that shithole. <laughs> What's up? Some marshmallows? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how about not, and that we don't even start? Okay, okay, just, I, I was trying to introduce food. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they bad for cancer? Are they bad for cancer? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, that's not how relationships should work. 
You know? Okay, I'll put it up. I'll put it up. <laughs> look, you, look, you just call the shots. You just direct this. I mean, it's kind of what it's like. God! <laughs> I don't know what it's like to have stage five cancer. You know, if I were to ever love you again, it'd be this kind of, you know, we'd have to start like round zero. Because, uh, I mean, we'd have to approach it like two brand new people going into a relationship. You know, we can't just assume there's all this construction here and build higher off of it. Okay, like, I, I think you're a great guy, and I've enjoyed the time we've spent together. Okay, let's start off. I'm Tito. I, I'm, I'm sorry that I traveled for a year, man, but it was... I'm not actually sorry that I traveled for a year. It was great. You know, like, like was I alone? Yeah. I mean, was I lonely? Painfully lonely. But I There's mean, not many people in Canada. <laughs> it wasn't just this house, you know. It was, it was a series of houses, you know. And like, I watched these beautiful couples go to bed in their bedroom, and and while I slept on their couch. That's badass. All of <laughs> Yeah. You know, I mean, I'd be so glad for you. Some, some alone time would do you some good. Cause that whole proposal thing is kind of that whole codependent thing. You know, I think that's it. Just means you're not ready for a relationship. You know. Oh, I see what you just did. You, know, you lure me into that story about Canada. I'm awkward. I'm ready. Pinkies and I are going to be together forever. As much as you're my big brother and my friend. One of the few people I take up here. There's a time to <laughs> I put my foot down. I take that line and I just break it. Do you understand? Because you broke it. I can go on and on about this. <laughs> the point is, don't try to trick me, okay? I'm not 16 anymore. I'm a grown man. Okay, I, think, I thought we were just going to hang out at the cliff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I did that, that's on me. Okay. But, uh, all right. To be honest, you're, you're kind of berating me right now. Every time I stick up for myself, people just call it berating. I mean, which is it? One pendulum swing over here, I'm trying to do what everybody says. The other pendulum swing, I'm an a-hole. The other pendulum swing, I'm not ready for marriage. The other pendulum swing, you're luring me into Canada. <laughs> Let's just hit the middle. <laughs> this spectrum is too much. <laughs> Good to see you, Tito. Wait. <laughs> Kev! Kev! <laughs> Your t-shirt! <laughs> Marshmallows! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.